we're starting a new video series on cruising and what you should look for when going to book a cruise, how to get onboard credits, how to get faster to the fun, uh, how to be sure that you've selected the right cabin, how to get money and earn money online, what to do when you're at port, how to pack, what to pack, things like that. And we're going to start off today very, very basic with uh, how to book your cruise. Here's the first thing you need to do when booking your cruise, okay? Most cruises today are booked um, either two different ways, either on website, Carnival's website. Most of the things that I'll be looking at will be with Carnival because that's uh, the company that we've cruised with the most. Second thing you'll see here is their phone number. Um, I would always advise you start on Carnival.com's website. Um, I always use their website because if you book through a third party, if you book through American Express or Orbitz or Priceline or uh, your Visa account or something like that, if you want to make any changes to your cruise reservation, you will have to go through them. If you call Carnival, they will look up your cruise and they'll say you need to call the person you booked it through. They won't even help you. And so I would always rather buy from the company uh, that I'm going to cruise with. That way, if I have a problem with that company or with that cruise, they can help me out. Okay, so today, first things first, I always click on that search button there at the home page because when I go on a cruise, I just start searching for a cruise. And what am I looking for? The first thing I'm looking for are dates or itineraries. Okay, so for me, if I want to choose the date that I'm looking to go, I will start with, we're going to take one in July, so I'll start with July, and I usually look, look one month at a time, but you can look as many as you would like. So I already know this cruise I'm going on, so I'm going to show you how I found my cruise. I know I can only go in July. It's my wife and I going. Update search. We wanted to go to the uh, Eastern Caribbean, and so you can only get to the Eastern Caribbean by leaving out of the East Coast. Unfortunately, we like to leave out of New Orleans, New Orleans and Galveston, but we had to leave off out of the East Coast. And so you can go through here and select your departure ports. Um, I think I selected Port Canaveral and Miami for mine. You, could, you can select Tampa as well. Um, and then how many days? We don't go anything shorter than at least a six day. And then you can see your ships and your different options and your rates down here. My rate's not in here, but um, sometimes you'll see deals for certain states, so you can enter your state in there, and then your VIFP. If you know your number, you can enter it. If not, you can select that, and you can enter your information here. And sometimes there's special deals for you uh, because of what you've done on board or how many cruises you've been on or so forth. And so um, now you have a list of cruises that you know can meet your date. They know that uh, you know that it's at least six days long. It's, so now you can start searching. Okay, You might be going through here, and you've always wanted to go on the Carnival Sunshine. Okay, Eight days, Carnival Sunshine looks like a good price. You can click this uh, Compare button, and this website will let you compare several cruises. Okay, Up to three cruises, and you can see that one is saved. So I can keep on looking through here to see some other ones that I might want to go on. Oh, here's one on, a, on one of the newer ships, the Carnival Breeze, the newest right now until the Vista comes out very soon. But I might check that box. Okay. And then um, that's you'll see at the bottom, sometimes this will load more cruises. It says there are no more cruises that meet your search criteria. So this is going to be it. Okay. I'm also going to compare this one here. This is the cruise we're actually going on, July the 18th. If you click on Show Dates, on these, they will show you the different dates. Sometimes it's only one day um, that, uh, or one date that it's going. You can click on learn more. It gives you information about the boat and even some of the ports. But um, you can do that also if you go back up to the top and click on compare cruises. Now you have your final three, and it will show you the ships, how many ports it's visiting, and the stops. Okay. You can click on each stop and it will give a brief overview of San Juan, Puerto Rico. And it kind of tells you some things about San Juan. And so you can see if that's something that you're interested in. Okay. Once you do that and you select your cruise, let's select the one that I'm actually going on. 
you got to you have to choose a date. Again, there's one date that shows you the itinerary of what times you're leaving and things like that. Once you click on book, it's going to take you to the booking engine. Oh, I want one room for two people. Again, you're looking at different rates. Okay, and you have to enter your number. I'm not going to do that right now. And then you choose what kind of cabin you want. Okay, a lot of times we go with just an interior room simply because it's usually the cheapest way to get on the ship. And for my wife and I, if we want to go outside, we go outside. We don't spend very much time in our rooms. We might change once during the day, uh, maybe lay down for 10 minutes and then to sleep. The rest of the time we're out and about. So we don't need an ocean view room. Some people love the balcony room. It's one of the most popular. Um, but again, if I want to lay out, I'm going to go up to the top deck because I'm probably getting something to eat and drink with it. A suite, which includes some primary uh, priority boarding and some other special things. And then the spa, if you can ever get the spa, uh, it comes with spa access and some special rooms. And on some ships, there's certain pools or hot tubs that are available to you uh, as spa guest. Okay. But if you want to book a simple interior, usually the cheapest route, it's going to have a running total of your charges here. We're going to have an interior. We want two beds. Do you want bunk beds or do you want a porthole? You can actually have a window. Okay. We're going to select an interior room. You can choose your own room. The cheapest way is Carnival will choose your room for you. We will go over here in a second how to choose a room uh, and how to know that your room is a good choice. But select your own room. And it's going to have all kinds of prices. Okay, this uh, sailing is not. Uh, it does not have early saver because it's gone. But we'll go through early saver um, on another video. But you can select your price. Just know this. This is when I usually start calling the 1-800 number. Click to call. Okay, because I want to know what all is included in these rates. Can I cancel? Is there a penalty to cancel? Can I add a person to my room? If I decide I want to upgrade, can I upgrade? There are all sorts of things. Uh, if the price goes down, can I get that money back? And so this that's when I usually, when I start looking at this and I look at prices, I click on a price to see which room is available. Uh, middle of the ship is a lot of times the part of the ship that does not move as much as the back or the front. Uh, the front though is usually where a lot of the, uh, the spa is and uh, the theater and things like that. And so um, you can click on any of those and it shows you what decks are available. Okay, some of these are sold out, but you can choose a deck from, from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay, and some of these cost more. And then when you get to this page, it will show you what rooms are available here in green and you can switch those okay and it will tell you it's two twin beds that convert to a king you have a desk in the seat um, and then you have a shower three closets and it'll tell you what's included in these rooms okay if you don't like that room you can always go back okay over here to the left and you can select another deck okay and so um, that's the basics of a cruise but usually when I get to this point where I'm selecting a rate and selecting my room then I start to call that 1-800 number and I always book my cruise talking to somebody. Okay, so when you get ready to book, I always book talking to somebody. Uh, comment, leave questions, things like that. We're going to look at uh, how to select your room exactly in the next video and personal vacation planners and, and all kinds of extra things in the videos to come. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. And always, as always, happy cruising.